Iron Horse Addicts, welcome back. And thank you for watching the second video in our series, Canada Tour 2022. If this is your first time on our channel, I appreciate you watching and believe you will find value and entertainment in our content. We hope you join us in the future as well. Today's video highlights the beautiful and scenic mountains in southeastern British Columbia. So let's mount up and start the adventure. So last night was a rough night of sleeping here in Creston, British Columbia. The band played until midnight and our room just happened to be right above the patio which served as their stage. We may not have woke up refreshed, but we are stoked to spend the day riding the southeastern mountains of BC. Our excitement is palpable as we exit the hotel parking lot and head west towards Kootenay Pass. As we left Creston, we dropped into the valley below and headed down Highway 3, known as Crow's Nest Highway, to the Purcell Mountains. These are just a small range of mountains that are part of the mighty Rocky Mountains. So I figure while we're on the topic of the Rocky Mountains, I'll go ahead and let the nerd in me come out and let's talk about some of the cool facts about the Rocky Mountains. So the first one is a question. Do you know how many mountain ranges form to make up the Rocky Mountains? While you're typing your guesses in the comment section below, here are a few cool facts about the Rocky Mountains. The mountains stretch more than 3,000 miles. They are the third largest mountain range in the world. And Mount Elbert in Colorado is the highest point reaching 14,000 439 feet. If you've ever seen the Rocky Mountains or rode them, you know they are majestic. Went for a walk with the stars last night. The invitation to ride with Iron Horse Addiction is extended to all, but keep in mind the camera is always on, so you have to be careful about what you do. Hitch and Sarge obviously forgot about the camera. Our ride to Kootenay Pass started in Creston at an elevation of 1,959 feet. Kootenay Pass is listed at 5,823 feet, so in less than 60 miles we gained more than 3,800 feet in elevation. It may not seem like much, but the temps dropped 27 degrees Fahrenheit and made for a chilly ride. The scenery along the Crow's Nest Highway is stunning. 
Some sections you can't see 100 yards ahead because the forests are so dense. Then minutes later, you are on the side of a high mountain looking at the valley and foothills below. There are so many beautiful roads to travel in BC. These mountain roads are often overlooked because of the more popular roads in the coastal mountains near the world famous ski resort of Whistler Black Hole. If you make a trip to BC, make sure you allow some time to visit Kootenay Pass. It's beautiful and worth the visit. As you descend Kootenay Pass and head towards Montrose and Trail BC, you begin to catch glimpses of the thunderous Columbia River. It brings life to so many in the Pacific Northwest. One of my favorite things about traveling is that I get to eat food from places that I will never see in Arizona. Iron Horse Addicts have a rule that when we ride, we never eat at a chain restaurant. Well, there is one exception, and that exception is Tim Hortons. There's nothing more Canadian than Tim Hortons, so when in Canada, eat like Canadians. Here I am again, making a wrong turn. If you've seen a few of my videos, you know this happens a lot. So much so that the addicts consider changing my writing name from Boss Hog to U-Turn. As we make our way out of the town of Trail into the southern section of the Selkirk mountain range, endless beautiful views appear immediately. This 40 mile section of highway has three ski resorts and is littered with hiking and mountain biking opportunities. These are some of the many reasons the license plates read, beautiful British Columbia. There is beauty at every turn and around every corner. Addicts, if I told you we saw all these beautiful sights on our first day in Canada, would you believe me? Amazingly, this is only the first four hours of our journey through Canada. We are only scratching the surface and have so many beautiful and scenic rides to share. So make sure you click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and smash that bell. Join us on our journey 
and have the adventure of a lifetime. Until next time, live life at 100 miles per hour.